pancake, everyone. Life on other planets. Earth, as far as we know, is the only planet on which there is life. But scientists say that sooner or later we will have to move to another planet. What will replace our home? Will it be Mars, Jupiter, or maybe Saturn? And is there even life on other planets at all? Some believe that there are no such planets. That said, even today, scientists have found planets where it is possible to conceive life. And that's what today's video will be about. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and click on the bell, as not to miss our new videos. Scientists and ordinary people alike have been asking about the possibility of extraterrestrial life for decades. Literally everything, from works of fiction at the level of Spielberg in his film Alien to the official press releases of the American Aerospace Agency, NASA, clearly reflects how great and important this problem is for modern man. One of the most important sources for the existence of the life we know is water. So it is not surprising that when we discover a new exoplanet or satellite, we try to look for its presence first and foremost. In the end, aliens might not look the way we present them in movies and at very serious scientific conferences. Nevertheless, their discovery will not be any less significant for the history of the human race. The Planetary System TRAPPIST-1 The discovery of this system, a few dozens of light years away, was announced earlier this year. The system consists of seven Earth-like planets orbiting an ultra-cold star, and represents an ideal target at this time for the search for life outside the solar system. Studying these exoplanets in the future will be relatively easy thanks to the way they orbit their star. These planets were discovered through the transit method of observation. Using a powerful telescope, scientists tracked when the planets passed in front of their luminary, partially reducing its brightness in our observation instruments. Astronomers suggest that these planets have relatively comfortable temperatures, quite suitable for water to form on their surfaces. And yet, while all of the exoplanets in this system are considered potential candidates for inhabited worlds, Three TRAPPIST-1 planets in particular may fit this role best, as they are located in the habitable zone of the star. This region around the star where the surface of the existing Earth-like planets could contain water in liquid form, Titan. This is the largest satellite of Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun. This moon is considered a potential candidate for a habitable world, but perhaps not in the sense we might think. This satellite doesn't quite fit the description of a world in the habitable zone. However, it does have water and other liquids on it. It just doesn't have liquid water on it. The water on this planetary object is in the form of ice, because the temperatures there are very low. Nevertheless, the liquids there are composed of hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is a chemical compound of hydrogen and carbon in various proportions. On Earth, the most common types of hydrocarbons are methane and propane gases. And this may be the key factor in imagining life on Titan from a completely different perspective. It is quite possible that potentially existing life forms there would not survive in liquid water conditions, but would be quite comfortable in a hydrocarbon environment. And although there are still some questions for science, for example whether life can exist not only in water, scientists are definitely not going to dismiss the possibility of life on Titan just yet. And now how could we have not included Elon Musk's favorite planet Mars, our red neighbor and fourth planet from the Sun? Perhaps one of the most discussed likely candidates for habitable worlds, and potentially the first target of human colonization. Despite the skepticism, this planet is the most likely place where we will find life. The aerospace agency NASA, while exploring the planet's surface with its Mars rover, did find evidence that at least microscopic life could have once and may still exist there. The findings indicate that the now completely dry planet had real streams and rivers of water in the past. Relying on this, we can at least assume that life may have somehow survived on it. Perhaps in further studies of Mars, scientists will find water in liquid form, not only in the forms of ice caps at the poles of the planet. On March 16th, SpaceX and Tesla founder Elon Musk indirectly confirmed his corporation's plans for the rapid colonization of Mars. He was concise, 2029. 
In this way, the popularizer of interplanetary travel marked the start date of a possible Martian expedition. All of these listed space bodies are not even the only ones out there. There are many more planets where life is also possible. But if we were to start listing them all, it would take more than one more video. Do we have a chance to reach other planets? Roscosmos, NASA, and ECA have announced a mission to Mars as their goal for the 21st century. In 2045 or 2050, the idea of delivering an expedition to Mars as a first step in the colonization of Mars is a manifestation of the phenomenon of human expansion. Although no man has yet set foot on the Red Planet, unmanned spacecrafts and Mars rovers have been here quite a lot. How long did they fly from Earth to Mars? The celestial bodies are in constant motion, so the distance between them may vary. On average, the Earth is 225 million kilometers away from Mars, but the shortest distance to Mars is 54.6 million kilometers. The orbits of the planets are circles, meaning you can cut the path and fly along a straight path. However, when flying on a rocket, it is necessary to take into account the solar attraction. In order to save fuel, the spacecraft will have to move as far away from the star as possible. Is there a spaceship that can take people to Mars? Actually, there is. And that spaceship is called the Crew Dragon, a vessel that can accommodate seven astronauts. It was presented by Elon Musk in May of 2018. According to the inventor, test launches will be made to the ISS in automatic mode. The Crew Dragon spacecraft will be used as a truck. The flight time from Earth to Mars? With current technology, about six to eight months. As the initial speed increases, the flight time will rapidly decrease. In principle, delivery to Mars of the necessary minimum of equipment and supplies for the initial period of existence of a small colony does not go beyond the capabilities of modern space technology, taking into account advanced developments the implementation period of which is estimated to be at about one to two decades. At the moment, the main unsolved problem is protection from radiation during the flight. In case of its solution, the flight itself, especially if it will be made in one direction, is quite realistic, although it requires the investment of huge financial resources and solving a number of scientific and technical issues of various scales. The main conditions for life on other planets are the presence of water, a certain type of surface, as in landscape, the amount of received stellar energy, as well as the presence of an atmosphere and a magnetic field. As we have learned today, there are enough planets where life could exist, and the technology exists to get us there, though no one can guarantee this for sure today. That said, tremendous work is being done every day to study space objects and their composition. And we hope that sooner or later we will find a planet with life on it. Planet until 2011, Tras 4 b The record-setting planet until recently was Tras 4 b located in the constellation Hercules. From 2006 to 2011, it was the largest planet in the universe. It is almost twice the size of Jupiter. What is curious, this planet is located in the binary system and there are no other similar ones yet known. In such systems, the gravitational forces of two stars interfere with the formation of planets and stable orbits. The planet Transfer B is a gas giant similar to Jupiter and is located very close to its star, only 2.8 million miles away. For comparison, the distance from the Sun to Mercury is 36 million miles and to Earth 92 million. The planet completes a full orbit in just 3.5 days and this gas ball is very hot. Its temperature exceeds 1700 degrees. Hot gas tends to expand so this planet is porous. Its density is very low on average, as in styroform or balsa wood. That's very low. Although Tresfer B is a large planet, but its mass is slightly less than that of Jupiter, so its gravity is less. This hot gas planet, with its large size and low gravity, is unable to hold its matter, so it is constantly losing it from its atmosphere. This gas plume drags behind the planet like a comet tail. This planet is a mystery to scientists. With such a gigantic size and disproportionately small mass, it simply should not exist. Yes, it is now losing mass, but how could it have formed under such conditions in the first place? Maybe once it wasn't as hot and therefore was smaller and more dense, like Jupiter. 
then it was much farther away from the star in the past, where it was captured by a star somewhere along the way. Unfortunately, it is not possible to see this planet in person in the near future. The distance to it is unimaginably long, 1600 light years. This huge planet was discovered by the transit method back in 2006, and the results were published a year later. The program in which the research was conducted is called TRESS, Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey. It involves three small 59-inch telescopes from different observations equipped with Schmidt cameras and autodetectors. A total of five exoplanets have been discovered under this program, including Tras 4b, the new largest planet in the universe, HATP 32b. In 2011, a new largest planet in the universe was discovered, which turned out to be larger than Tras 4b. It is located in the constellation Andromeda, 1044 light years away. This planet exceeds Jupiter in radius by just over two times. That is, it is larger than Transfer B. But its mass is about the same and slightly less than Jupiter's. Otherwise, HETP 32b is very similar to Transfer B. This planet is also a hot gas ball, even hotter. Its temperature reaches 1,888 degrees Celsius. This planet is also located close to the star, to be exact, at a distance of about 3 million miles, and because of its huge temperature, its gas is also expanding and losing. Therefore, its density is also low. Scientists are constantly discovering more and more new planets from other stars, and it is possible that this record will be broken, and soon we will learn about the other largest planets in the universe. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like it and click on our intergalactic bell not to miss information about this planet.